So let me tell you, my husband and I, we have been married for going on 10 years in August. He is my best friend, my favorite person in the world. And there's certain things with my husband that I will do and that I won't do. There's a certain way that I will talk to my husband. There's a certain way that I will treat my husband. There's a certain way that I will be around my husband. There's a certain way when he comes home, how I am with him. Like there's certain things that I would do. And this is the thing that got me seven proposals. Like seven men proposed to me. And when I did my dating experiment and discovered what I'm getting ready to teach you, men would buy me things without me asking. A man bought me a house, a car. I was getting shopping sprees all the time. It was like an inside joke with my friends. I was getting tickets to the Masters Super Bowl opens. You name it, I was getting it. It wasn't, it's, and it's not hard, ladies. If you can understand what it is that I'm teaching you, when you know what it is that I'm teaching you, it is not hard. It's actually easier than dealing with a Build-A-Bear who simply doesn't want to make you happy. But this is the main thing that I would do. I would operate in my feminine energy and I would make this man forget all of his troubles. I would make him feel like he was the king. I would see him, I would really see him beyond the imperfections that he himself is very well aware of, but he's also very insecure about it. Ladies, you gotta understand, a man's ego is way more sensitive than ours, believe it or not. Men will fall harder than you, and they take longer to get over heartbreak than us. So when you understand that, and then you speak to that, and when you can accommodate that in a way that makes that man feel seen and makes him feel like a king, I'm telling you, he will run through walls for you. Whatever you want, he will give it to you. And a lot of women think that if they act like a man, if they act like they can just do it themselves, if they act like they can act like a man or like a man is just a hairy woman, according to Alison Armstrong, then that he is going to operate the same way. And men, ladies, do not think like us. They don't act like us. They don't biochemically bond like us. Men are not like us. If you are, you're hurt, insecure, loud mouth because you're scared, because you're, you feel like men are unsafe to be around. If you feel like you operating in your masculine energy where you have to do everything, where you make a man feel like he's not needed, you can be yourself all you want to and by yourself. You will still attract at the point of trauma. You will still attract low frequency, low vibrational men, okay? That's like one of the biggest lies that we have been fed smoke blown up our butt because it sounds great, but it's not true. No, ma'am. Some of you need to be better than the selves that you have identified yourself as because the self you've identified yourself as is based in pain. It's based in trauma. You're angry. You're bitter. You're negative. You act like a... <laughs> ma'am, here's the thing that I found, y'all, and I, I'm going to just be completely honest with you. How many of you feel like you intimidate men? You feel like your success intimidates men. So let me tell you something. But ladies, I'm gonna just be honest with you, okay? Now, I have been helping women who are highly successful, who are bosses in their jobs, who are making a lot of money, they have their own house, they have all that other stuff. I've been helping women for over two decades now. And I promise you, ladies, the men that matter aren't intimidated by you. They're not intimidated by your success. The little boys are intimidated by you. The feminized boys who are in their feminine energy are intimidated by you. The men you shouldn't even be thinking about in the first place, now they're intimidated by you because they know, a man knows before you've even said hello, if he has the capability of even being able to meet your needs and make you happy. Men know before you do. And so he will try to make it seem like he's intimidated by you to bring you down a notch so he doesn't have to pull himself up a notch, okay? Those aren't the men that matter. The men that matter, the reason why those men, and hear me ladies, because I'm saying this with so much love because people won't tell you the truth, okay? But I promise you, if you listen, this will bless and change your life. You know, the men that are successful, the men that are goal-oriented, the men that will make great fathers, the men that will make good husbands, the men that are provider men, what's a turnoff 
to a lot of women who are highly successful is that a lot of times you're operating in your masculine energy and you act like you don't need a man. You have a hard time asking for what you want and what you need and you have a hard time being vulnerable. I'm gonna let that sizzle in your spirit for a second. Some of you, if I told you to go out and ask three people for a dollar, three strangers for a dollar, you rather eat glass and walk on fire than to ever ask somebody for help. You don't like being vulnerable. You like being in control of your world. Because let's face it, ladies, from doing this for over two decades, I've been able to determine after meeting tens of thousands of women and helping them that every woman who's having a hard time being able to attract love falls in one of the five love archetypes. And the woman who's usually the make it happen woman who's more often than not in her masculine energy is the ruby. And the ruby is the one that's highly successful. Now, on one hand, the reason why she's successful is because she's a go-getter. She makes it happen. She's not going to lay back and depend on somebody. She's not going to act like she's helpless. She's going to get it done. She has a, I'm going to get it done, type A, make it happen. And that works in the boardroom. It doesn't work in the bedroom of relationships, baby. That's the truth. And no man that's at the stage in his life where he has established himself financially wants to be with a woman that makes him feel unneeded. He has to feel like he can contribute to your world. He has to feel like you can need him, that he can make your life better. He has to feel like he's adding value if he's a real man. Now, if he's, if he's a little boy, if he's in his feminine energy, he's gonna wanna take from you, he's gonna wanna drain from you. But the problem is that taps into a woman like that, that taps into her deepest insecurities. She doesn't wanna put herself in a vulnerable position where she ever needs somebody. When it comes to my husband, oh, he knows I need him. I have no problem admitting that I need with a capital N, proudly, proudly. I asked my husband when I need him to get things done, I let my husband do things for me. I'm constantly asking him to do. And every time I ask my husband to do something for me, he lights up like a light bulb. Y'all should see his face. He just like, okay, all right, I'll get it done. When I don't pay the bills, okay? My husband pays the bills from his check I don't pay bills. My husband pays 100% of the bills and he loves it. And I just, I know how to talk to my husband. I know how to make my husband feel special. I don't say no to my husband. There has been not one time my husband was like, he wants to get it and I said no. I don't talk down to him in public. I'm not going to emasculate my husband. I don't do that. I let my husband know that when he does something sweet for me, I make him feel like he is the king of the castle because he is. I have no problem doing that. When in my past marriage, I did, and it, it didn't work for me, okay? Being smart, being successful, having all the answers, taking care of the house, giving my ex-husband all of the advice and telling him what he should do, he resented me for that. So with my husband, I learned my lesson. No, ma'am. I need you, my wrists are broke, okay? My wrists are broke. So when I was dating, I knew how to speak into a man's spirit to the point where he loved, it feels their soul when they're giving to a feminine woman. My husband takes me on trips around the world. I have a full-time nanny and a housekeeper. I have a chef. I don't have to cook, I don't have to clean, I don't have to fix anything. My husband does everything that I want and need. With my first husband where I had to do everything, tell him everything, oh yeah, that was exhausting. But here's the thing, baby. A lot of women say that what I'm saying to do with men and being in your feminine energy and learning the science of attraction, they consider that exhausting. They consider it exhausting for them to simply learn something one time and then use it for the rest of their life. My husband bought me an entire, aside from, because I've had three men buy me houses. My husband was in the military. He had, you know, when men are in the military, they have a VA certificate or whatever, where they can buy a house and the interest rate is at the lowest that they, they can have it. And my husband held on and did not buy a house or use a certificate. He waited until he found his wife because he already believed that I was his wife years ago before we even got married. And he wanted to buy me the house. So he used his his VA voucher, whatever it is with the house, to buy me the house that I wanted. My husband gives me whatever it is that I want. Why? 
because it triggers his dopamine to make me happy because whenever my husband does something to me, I'm showing him so much gratitude and appreciation. I'm talking to my husband in a different voice than I talk to you guys. I It's funny because people can see me t turn it on and off. I can go in and out when it comes to me with my husband and it pays off. But here's the thing. How do you be a woman who's a boss when it comes to your career and then you turn it off so that you can be soft with your man, so that you can be in your feminine energy with your man, so that you know how to be able to be vulnerable to your man. How do you do that?